Good day! The macro skill focus of this video is grammar. This is all about types of sentences according to structure, focusing on simple and compound sentences. At the end of this video, you should be able to recall the parts of a sentence and identify the different kinds of sentences according to structure. Let's first have a review on the following. Simple subject and simple predicate, complete subject and complete predicate, and clauses. Remember that a complete subject consists of all the words that describe whom or what the sentence is about. On the other hand, a simple subject is just the main word or word group that tells whom or what a sentence is about. Now a complete predicate consists of a verb and all the words that modify it to complete its meaning. While a simple predicate is the verb or verb phrase in the sentence, this does not include the modifiers that describe it. For example, the management of your school has performed its roles perfectly. The complete subject of this sentence is the phrase, the management of your school. And the complete predicate is, has performed its roles. Since simple subjects and simple predicates do not include the modifiers, the simple subject in this sentence is, the management. And the simple predicate is, has performed. We are now done reviewing simple and complete subjects and predicates. This time, let's review the different types of clauses. Clauses are a group of words that have both a subject and a verb or a predicate. There are two major types of clauses, the dependent clause and the independent clause. The dependent clause is also called as a subordinate clause because it starts with a subordinating conjunction, while the independent clause is called as the main clause. Moreover, a dependent clause does not have a complete thought while the independent clause has a complete thought. Lastly, a dependent clause being dependent to other clauses cannot stand alone, but the independent clause can. The following sentences show the differences of dependent clause and independent clause. When the game is over, mom will pick us up. The clause when the game is over starts with the subordinating conjunction when. This clause has an incomplete thought when the independent clause is removed. However, the clause, mom will pick us up, does not necessarily need the dependent clause to have a complete thought. Next sentence. Before we leave for our road trip, we have to pack the needed things and check them out. The clause, before we leave for our road trip, starts with the subordinating conjunction before. This clause have an incomplete thought. However, the clause, we have to pack the needed things and check them out, does not necessarily need the dependent clause to have a complete thought. Now that we are done reviewing, let's focus on the different types of sentences according to structure, particularly simple and compound sentences. A simple sentence is made up of one independent clause. The subject or verb may be compound, meaning there could be two or more subjects or verbs in a simple sentence. Lastly, it does not contain any subordinate clause but may have phrases and complements. A simple sentence may have one subject and one verb as seen in these sentences. Lara baked cookies. The subject is Lara and the verb is baked. She bought baking tools at a discounted price. This sentence has one subject, she, and one verb, bought. I have never seen such sorrow in your eyes. The single subject is I and the single verb is have never seen. A simple sentence may also have a compound subject. For example, my dad and mom never work on the weekends. The compound subject in this sentence is my dad and mom. Anthony, his best friend, and his cousins will watch the free concert tonight. There are three subjects in this sentence, namely Anthony, his best friend, and his cousins. Aside from a compound subject, a simple sentence may also have a compound verb. Aries was eating and talking at the same time during dinner. The subject in this sentence is Aries. And he's doing two things, which is our compound verb, was eating and talking. Next sentence. Mark went to the market and bought fresh mango. The subject Mark did two things, went to the market and bought fresh mango. Lastly, a simple sentence may have a compound subject and a compound verb. For example, the cat and dog yowled and howled respectively. The cat and dog are the compound subject Yowled and howled are the compound verb. Mrs. Stevenson and her students study hard and learn a lot. The compound subject is 
Mrs. Stevenson and her students. The compound verb is study and learn. We are now done with the simple sentences. Let us now discuss compound sentence. Compound sentences have two or more simple sentences. It makes use of coordinating conjunctions to join the two simple sentences. Coordinating conjunctions are the fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Sometimes, instead of using the coordinating conjunctions, a semicolon is used. Lastly, since it is joining two or more simple sentences, it does not have a subordinate clause. For example, I might go to college or I might find a job. We say that a compound sentence joins two or more simple sentences. In this sentence, the first simple sentence is, I might go to college. While the second simple sentence is, I might find a job. These two sentences are joined by the coordinating conjunction, or. Instead of a conjunction, a semicolon may be used to join these two sentences as seen in this example. I might go to college, I might find a job. Still, the first simple sentence is, I might go to college. But the second simple sentence is, I might find a job. Next example. I was laughing at my sister as she was dazzling the room. You walked in and my heart went boom. There are three simple sentences in this compound sentence. I was laughing at my sister as she was dazzling the room is the first simple sentence. You walked in is the second simple sentence. My heart went boom is the third simple sentence. The first and second simple sentences are connected by a semicolon, and the second and third sentences are connected by the coordinating conjunction N. We are now done with our discussion on simple and compound sentences. This time, let's have a practice exercise to apply what we have learned. Identify whether the sentence is simple or compound. Pause this video as you try to answer the given sample sentences. First sentence. Margaret's poem is long, but it is not complicated. This sentence is a compound sentence. It has two simple sentences. Margaret's poem is long. It is not complicated. It is joined by the coordinating conjunction, but. Next sentence. The dogs barked and ran fast across the road. This sentence is a simple sentence. It has one subject, the dogs, and compound verb barked and ran. Third sentence. The lazy dog and the sleepy cat slept on the sofa all day. This is a simple sentence with a compound subject and a single verb. The compound subject are the lazy dog and the sleepy cat. The single verb is slept. Fourth sentence. Maybe no one knew what to say or maybe the students were afraid to say the wrong thing. This is a compound sentence. The first sentence is maybe no one knew what to say. The second sentence is, maybe the students were afraid to say the wrong thing. This is connected with the coordinating conjunction, or. Fifth sentence, next summer might be better, or it might be worse. This is an example of a compound sentence. The first simple sentence is, next summer might be better. The second simple sentence is, it might be worse. These two sentences are joined with the conjunction, or. Sixth sentence. Good kids are obedient. This is a simple sentence with one subject. The subject is, good kids. Seventh sentence. In the grocery shop, the client became more and more angry. This is a simple sentence with a singular subject, the client. Ella and Sam arrived at the bus station early, but they waited until noon for the bus. This is a compound sentence. Ella and Sam arrived at the bus station early is the first simple sentence. They waited until noon for the bus is the second simple sentence. These are joined by the conjunction, but. Second to the last sentence. Do you want a pen or are you looking for a pencil? This is a compound interrogative sentence. The first simple interrogative sentence is asking, do you want a pen? While the second simple interrogative sentence is asking, are you looking for a pencil? These are joined with the coordinating conjunction, or. Last sentence, Joe and Nick are eating ice cream and fries on a park bench before dinner. 
this is a simple sentence that has both a compound subject and compound verb. The compound subjects are Joe and Nick. The compound verb are ice cream and fries. That's it for our discussion on the types of sentences according to structure, particularly simple and compound sentences. Thank you for watching!